my fellow Sierra Leoneans, now here talk. Today, I want to recommend say, let the Minister of uh, Transport and Aviation let them bomb water key to ground and rebuild them back. Yes, you heard me right. My recommendation is that bomb water key to, to ashes and rebuild it back. What do I mean by that? I want to give you a story where I watch on YouTube today, which inspired me for watch for 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 do this um or this video. A young Sierra Leonean, he pack assorted items, all in small small thing, then fridge, washing machine, whatnot, blah blah blah, and carry them to Sierra Leone for good sale. He arrived in Sierra Leone some two for cost and twenty five million. He ended up for cost term about sixty million, and then as he see port say gonna demorage. He got the mortgage, so he need to pay $50 every night. Never clear him. Because of all the chap chap, all them corrupt, absolutely corrupt individuals they went in there. They took advantage of him. Um, and I want to tell you what this means. Sierra Leone, we are a consumer country. We they eat everything from overseas. We don't produce anything that we eat. When I mean on a mass production, like commercial, like commercial level, Rice, who they eat every day, we don't produce and import to the importer. Uh, what else? Oil, who the importer. Uh, even granite oil, who the importer. Maggi, Abbas, we import them. We don't produce them in Sierra Leone. Even where diamond, who they mine, we're not diamond rich country, Sierra Leone. The finishing product now for India, US, and developing countries that they, they come out. Where they sell them at a lower rate, they come back five, six times the price. Then we buy them. So we don't produce anything that we consume. We consume everything from overseas. And then today they come all overseas and they come. Now the seaport, through the seaport, then they and they come, that's Sierra Leone. So if the people who are in the seaport now are taki, then they make people who are in the import entity, they truly call it, make them people in life so hard, then they make put price them right up. Then a thief, 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 thief. What's going to happen? If somebody can have a taki, you need to pay the, the real price for the thing. We for pay for Clara, the customs and duties, not 3000 but it ended up for pay $6,000. What's if you say for reclaim that in $3,000 extra? Now you and me, now we get for pay from because we're going to increase the price more and more so that we will recover in $3,000 extra. So because of them corrupt people, them officials, them, now a taki, you and I, they suffer. I say enough is enough. It's enough, enough is enough. Then God only do one for many, many years. Some of these guys have been there before you and I were born. They are still there working in their 70s, 80s. Why is that the case? It is long overdue for these guys to be removed from those positions. Then they clog the way for Sierra Leoneans. Then they clog the way for economic growth. Sea transportation, marine time transportation, now they now the most efficient, now I, was, I take that back, now the most cost effective way for transport goods where they heavy. All they heavy, heavy, heavy thing them. Reso, oil, granato, granato oil, yabaso, all them thing them do, fridge, washing machine, electrical equipment, white goods. The best way for transport is not to through the air because it's too expensive, we can't afford it. So they see now the best way for transport. And when they arrive in Sierra Leone, if the seaport is clogged with all length of money, we don't day for since 1960s, then me and you go pay higher price than we need to. We go pay higher price than is necessary. Because the businessmen have been ripped off. So it's time for make the government look into them guiding the way in a seaport. It, they've been there for many, many years. It's too much now. It's too much. These guys, my recommendation to the Ministry of Transportation and Aviation in Sierra Leone is this, number one. Anybody who don't day day for less than five years, they should be given a KPI, a key performance indication, indicator where they need to measure their performance by. If they don't meet that performance within six months, they should be relieved of their duty and paid off. The one they only know it for over five years. Those guys, those jobs should be re-advertised and competitions should be created for make sure see they extract all the corrupt people in that place. 
Have you been to Wataki? I challenge you today, go to Wataki today, you go see obituaries. You go see notices of people where they don't die. You know why? Because there's so much witchcraft. There's so much evil where they go on amongst them. Any young man or person with smart puppy you want to change things, they kill you. That has been the predicament in Wataki. People have been killed. Talented people that are standing up to see, hey, we want to make a change. We want to make a difference. They've been killed. They died mysteriously. You know why? They're old man. They went only since the 60s. They still have power and influence. So if you don't listen to them, they kill you. So my recommendation is that those positions should be re-advertised. Now the only way they will recycle those those corrupt officials and remove them from the system so that our country will be able to grow. Sierra Leoneans then now they don't fed up so much with Wataki is that then they ship their items to Guinea and Liberia where they're clearer and they're cheaper and efficient than bring across the border and pay small tin and captain a saloon. You know what I mean? That is not the only influence, you know they only get an impact on the local people, but they get an impact on the economy. Because when you ship something as a law, you need to pay customs and duties. That money where they pay, they help for grow with country and with economy. But if we go pay that money to other countries, because we see Port Guide and so corrupt and confucius and so 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 really heartless that you need to go to another country, that money we for spend as a law for make we grow, it will be spent over there. That money we for, for use for make road, it will spend in Liberia and Guinea. That money we for use for, for improve with healthcare, it will be spent in Liberia and Guinea. This is a big shame. So I call on the Minister of Transport and Aviation today for making them look into Wataki. Those guys have been doing it for far too long. It is time to put a stop to these treacherous deeds. It is time to make Sierra Leoneans interest first for make sure say the common man not pay so much for something where they for pay two dollars for they pay three dollars for they for pay one thousand loans then they pay one thousand five hundred loans because then thief money and they don't rip the businessman them off so the businessman they don't fed up so they say they increase them price or forget their money back rest business not for be so expensive two hundred thousand two hundred twenty thousand why it's because of that and the other thing we happen in Sierra Leone is that there's a monopoly in import. Yes, if you're in a Sierra Leone and today try for import rest in a saloon, you know what thing they happen? They go give you so much tough time. You know why? Because Sierra Leone, they don't identify certain Lebanese guys who are the key rice importers in a Sierra Leone. I have friends that have tried to import Sierra Leone of their own rice now in Sierra Leone and of their own brand. They've been duped, they've been twisted and turned around. These guys don't even want to make money, they just want to supply chain. Because Sierra Leone, we imp we rice importation is centralized to certain Lebanese individuals in Sierra Leone. I don't say this because of racism or try for, or for label, or, it is the truth. And the Lebanese don't control the economy so much that the rice market, so much that if you go, even if you bring your rice, God help you, Wataki, they charge you over, but you bring and come in. You know what they do? They drop their prices so low so that they will influence the market and take you out of the business. And when you know they, they increase their prices so that they will get market. The Lebanese own the rice market in Sierra Leone. The monopoly over rice supply, then don't make the rice prices in Sierra Leone don't go skyrocket. The monopoly over oil supply in Sierra Leone, then they make granite oil don't go skyrocket. Sierra Leone government, the Ministry of um, Finance need for look into this. And commerce, they need for look into the for make sure see, we stamp out these greed practices of a very few individuals, them, especially those Lebanese businessmen where they don't take over the rice market in Sierra Leone. It's time for change things for the better. For see, would they pay two, 200,000, 220 for one bag rice? It is unheard of, it's undone, and it needs to be investigated for make sure see, the people them they interest it as a priority. And the, the importations, they need for open them up to all Sierra Leoneans, they need for open them up to competition. The competition and consumer interest of Sierra Leone must be prioritized. So today they call on the Minister for Transport and Aviation for make sure she let them look into Wataki. Make them unclog them. Let them make sure she all them old party when they all them people they don't they clog the way. All the one when they kill the young man, they when they come up for can't change things. They should be removed. 
by re-advertising the position so that our interests can be best served by competent people, by people who are actually qualified and they're ready to do the job without taking a single cent of bribe. This is my view and I look forward for your review before. Below, Air Peter Thomas, shared with you. Thank you.